These are the tools required in order to open up your PlayStation 3 system and carry out thermal compound replacement. Phillips number 0, number 1, number 2, screw bit screwdriver, Torx T10 screw bit screwdriver. You can either use small Phillips flathead screwdriver or micro turn precision screwdriver. If this is your first time opening up your console, best is to use a marker and mark down where all the different types of screws go. And when you try to put your console back together, it will make the job a lot easier. Other very handy utility uh, item to have is this small utility component box, PS3 has a lot of different types of screws so best is to have them organized in these compartments and it will be a breeze when you try to put your console back together alright next uh, in order to clean up the old thermal compound uh, we will be using isopropylene alcohol uh, cotton balls and q-tips uh, many a times there is a lot of dust in the PS3 system so have some cleaning brushes ready uh, to clean up all the dust as well. Next, uh, in order to replace with new thermal compound, we'll be using Arctic Silver 5 scrape tool. If you don't have a scrape tool, you can use pretty much anything, any thick plastic card or a business card uh, to evenly distribute the thermal compound on the BGA chipsets. Alright, uh, let's get going. Let's open up your PS3. Step 1. Remove the warranty sticker if there is any. Remove the rubber pad and remove the only Torx screw using your Torx T10 screwdriver. Next, remove the hard drive cover. Uh, remove this blue screw and take off the hard drive. Next, we are now able to lift up our faceplate, so simply slide it out and lift it up. Next, we'll be removing all these Phillips screws. So there are a total seven screws. Uh, these six are equal length, and there's this one, the small one. Simply take all these off. Next, uh, we are able to lift up our top cover. There is a small clip here. Simply use your small micro turn precision screwdriver, unclip the clip here, and pull it up. So this comes off. So the top comes off. Next, uh, we will be removing the Blu-ray drive. So unplug the power cable. and uh, disconnect the ribbon cable as well be very gentle with this cable as there is a very delicate connector there next let's remove the Wi-Fi board and the module So simply take out these two screws and one screw here. Next, uh, disconnect this cable. Now you can lift up your Wi-Fi module. Next, we'll remove the power supply. So simply unplug this power cable first and take out all the six screws disconnect the AC inlet cable and you can lift up the power supply next uh, we'll be disconnecting all these cables so let's remove the Wi-Fi module cable first. Simply unplug this connector, take it off. Disconnect the power Blu-ray drive power cable and the Blu-ray drive ribbon cable. Be very careful and gentle with this connector. And slide it out. Next, we'll be removing one two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, and a long screw eight one here uh, in order to lift up our board. Next, we are now able to lift up our board from the bottom tray. Okay, so this comes off. At this stage, there's a lot of dust here, and then there's a lot of dust uh, on your bottom tray. Best is to grab a cleaning brush and try to clean up as much as you can. Next, we'll be removing the AC inlet, so simply slide it out. Next, we'll be removing these two bars here, along with these two screws. Simply slide out this metal plate. And now we are able to lift up our motherboard. Uh, simply flip over first and remove the fan cable. Okay, now we are able to lift up our motherboard. You have to use a bit of a force as uh, the thermal compound is stuck. On. So simply slide it out and pull up. That's our motherboard. These are the tools required in order to clean up. The old thermal compound from the BGA chipsets, you need acerbopyl alcohol, Q-tips and some cotton balls. Let's remove the old thermal compound. So, uh, try to clean up as best as you can. Clean up with acid propyl alcohol. Once thoroughly cleaned, put the board aside for 5 to 10 minutes. Next, if you notice, there's a residue of old thermal compound on the fan as well. So let's clean up all this. Hold on. Next, these are the tools re required in order to apply the thermal compound to the BGA chipsets. We'll be using Arctic Silver 5. Uh, scrape tool, if you do not have a scrape tool, don't worry about it. You can pretty much use any thick plastic card uh, to evenly distribute the thermal compound on the BGA chipsets. Alright, let's place the thermal compound on the BGA chipsets. Next, simply evenly distribute it. All done. Let's put our PS3 back together. Step 1, let's place the motherboard back in the bottom tray and connect the fan cable. So, simply align these connectors over here and slide it in. Next, just flip it over and make sure to connect the fan cable. Uh, 
next we will be placing this tray so simply align these two at these two holes and place it in next we will be connecting our AC inlet Simply align it and place it in. Next, we're putting this in the bottom tray. So grab your bottom tray and align it and place it in. Next, we'll be putting all our motherboard uh, screws that hold the motherboard. So there is one long screw that goes here and if you have a look at these screws they're pretty much all the same except for one this is a bit smaller that goes in this where the hard drive goes and the rest goes here Next, let's place these two metal bars. Next, um, we'll be connecting the Blu-ray drive cable, the Firefly module cable, and we'll be placing our power supply and Blu-ray drive. So let's connect our Blu-ray drive cable, ribbon cable first. Uh, be very gentle with this connector; it's very fragile. So simply. Lift it up and slide the cable in. Next, the Wi Fi module cable. This one goes in here. And next, the Blu ray drive cable. Okay, let's put this our power supply. Simply align these two holes with these two metal bars here and place it in. And put back all these power supply screws. Next, let's place our Wi Fi board. And the antenna. Connect this ribbon cable and the power supply cable. Next, let's put back our Blu-ray drive. Simply uh, uh, unplug this, uh, unclip this connector first. Place the Blu-ray drive power connector. Connect the power supply AC inlet. Let's put our top tray and put back all these screws. Let's put back our uh, face plate. Simply slide it in. Next, we'll be placing our hard drive and uh, the Torx to Torx T10 um, screw in there. Put back this um, rubber pad. Mm -hmm. 
and we'll place our hard drive. So simply slide it in and put back the blue screw and the hard drive cover. Hold on. Thanks for watching the videos. Please go to gc-repairs.com to purchase all the tools and accessories you need. Thank you.